Well hey there guys, I'm Axel the Beast, and this is the Curiosity Shop, the ZeldaEngine.net video mailbag where I answer your Zelda questions. Well, except, you know, it's the new year, and I was thinking we should make some changes. I shouldn't just answer questions in this mailbag, I should do something a little different. Dif dif this is a page full of questions right here. I can never resist answering questions. Waker Angel asks, which is your favorite region in Skyward Sword, and why? I would probably say, I guess for me, like, I liked a lot of them, but I would say that the best one for me was the Lanayru region, specifically because, you know, it just had the most new ideas. It was a really fascinating, interesting little new area with a lot of new concepts, the you know, the time shift stones and whatnot, and it just had great atmosphere, great backstory. It was uh, surprisingly melancholy. I've covered that in the video before, and I don't know. I just really dug it, and I thought it was the most original, most creative of all the regions in Scarred Sword, and one of the most interesting places in a lot of recent Zelda games. Uh, yeah. Tell me your guys' favorite uh, region in Skyward, in Skyward Sword, though, uh, in the comments. Nick Mikuleski... Mi Nick... I, I can do this. Um, Nick Mikuleski uh, asks... Well, he asks Mossies and all the ZD staff. Dear Mossies and all the ZD staff, I have been watching almost all of your videos, but I do have a question. Do you think that they will ever have a Zelda game that has all parts of the storyline in it, not just parts? All parts of the storyline in it. Not just parts. Well, not Mossies or the rest of the ZD staff. My answer is yes. Nick the Awesome asks, Hi Axel, how much do you think Zelda has improved since the NES? Well, I don't know, that's a tricky question because Zelda's changed a lot since the NES. It's not so much that they just like statically improved, like they've just gotten better and better and like in the same ways they've done everything exactly the same but done it way better. Zelda's changed a lot. You know, like, there's been this big focus on presentation and ease of, like, and low entry level for new players and whatnot. So there's been a lot of differences. I would say that it's gotten better in the sense that, um, it's definitely improved on the NES games in the sense of the storyline, because there was none in the original NES game for the most part, like real bare bones. And they've gotten better at presentation and, and to some degree, the world building, although there's probably a lot, a lot to be desired there. And it just crafts the experience more, I guess I would say, uh, and puts a lot of effort into all those details and stuff. But I think in some ways it doesn't uh, it doesn't exactly improve on the NES games in terms of like the gameplay and game design, you know, stuff like that. You know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of one of the classic guys, so I don't think that the new games are all better than the NES games in every respect, but there are certainly areas, mostly on the presentation side, where they, they really quite improve them quite a lot. And there definitely are some creative ideas in the new ones, so it's that kind of thing, Creati creativity and presentation mainly. In terms of how much, I would say marginally, I guess, because they've improved in some areas, and in my opinion at least, worsened in others. So, you know, they've marginally improved, but they've certainly improved in specific areas uh, in particular. Ratchet25 asks, do you think Zelda is better on consoles or on handhelds? Uh, well, this is a tricky question for the same reason, because the handheld games, for the most part, actually take after the old NES and Super Nintendo titles, whereas the new Zelda games, uh, or, well, the console games are well, like the ones I'm talking about. Uh, so, I think really for me, since I am more of a classic fan, I prefer the handheld games because they really just have bring the game design together in a better way for the most part. Even the DS ones tend to be that way for me. So, uh, I think that in general, I think the handheld ones are better games. The recent console ones seem, I don't know, they seem incomplete in certain respects. But they are still solid games. And again, they excel in things like presentation and creativity in, in, for the most part. So... I don't know, uh, or I guess especially presentation. So you know, same basic answer. They've uh, I prefer the handheld games though. Zora Twilight asks, "What would you think of a Doomsday Zelda game where Hyrule is ending?" Yeah, I carry this one home with me. Uh, Black Raven six thousand six hundred ninety-five, who got almost all of the you know quotes and music and whatnot right last mailbag, uh, asks: Multiple enemies in the Zelda series fight by dual wielding swords, such as the Elite Gerudo, including Ganondorf. Uh, would you like to see a game where Link gets to dual wield sword, dual wield swords? I know I would. You know, sure. I think it's, it would be a very cool thing to see. I think moreover than just making it so that's Link's main weapon thing, because I think they're probably never really going to get rid of the single magical sword thing. But 
I really would like to see Zelda games where you have more, like, options on what you can fight with, uh, if you want to. Not, like, your main item that you're going to be forced to use, but, like, the you could just have a selection of different weapons you could pick up and train with and get good with and use in the game for customization's sake. And I think that, yeah, dual wielding, that would be pretty cool as an option like that. So, yeah, why not? Majora, who got a fair amount of the quotes and whatnot right, uh, Last Mail Leg, asks, What would you think of a Zelda game where Nintendo tried to make it as different from the usual as possible? The only limit that it still feels like a Zelda game. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, of course, it's gotta still feel like Zelda. That's the key point of it being a Zelda game. But, uh, I think that the tricky thing here is, is that if you're making a Zelda game for the sole purpose of making it as different as possible from a Zelda game while still retaining what makes it Zelda, I think that's sort of what's going to end up making it not feel like Zelda. Because really, Nintendo, they just make these games, they, they make them... Uh, uh, gameplay based they make them to be fun they make them to be interesting gameplay experiences they're not thinking about oh how do i change this the zelda series is pretty successful so they're mostly going to be trying to you know do the things that are working and uh i just think that if you're going to spend a lot of time trying to make it different from other zelda games then why are you making a zelda game because that's that's that is the practice of trying to get away from what makes it zelda I mean, obviously you would try not to cross the line, but I think that if you're trying to find ways to make it different, you're sort of missing the point. It should be different if it's natural to make it different, and that's what works for the ideas that you're using. Hephaestus asks, what direction would you take Zelda in for the Wii U gameplay-wise? Uh, what features would you want for the gamepad, or would you like to use the Wii Motion Plus again, like in Skyward Sword? This is a really hard question for me, because I really enjoyed the Wii Motion Plus, and, you know, maybe it could have been refined a little bit, but it was just such a great control scheme to me, and I, I just really enjoyed it. I really want to see it again very badly, especially since certain control aspects, like, I don't know, the sword beam mechanics with Skyward Strike, or more particularly the swimming, were a little underused. But at the same time, I really would like to see a, a new control scheme based on the new controller. You know, it's like, why not use the new controller? So, I, I don't have any specific ideas on what they could do. Inventory man management would be an obvious thing. Maybe some kind of wacky telekinesis thing or some kind of other weird world manipulation power that you can use the touchpad and whatnot for. I don't know. But uh, bottom line is, it would be interesting to see something new with the gamepad. But also, I, I really want the motion control. So, I absolutely pretty much refuse to touch this issue because... I can't decide which I want more. I kind of want them both. We could have the gamepad and just hold it like this. And then we just, like, we, we hold the, the Wiimote with it. And we just, that's uh, terrible. So I don't know. Mike asks, Who is the old man with the Triforce of Courage at the end of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, after you defeat Link's Shadow? This has bugged me for the past 20 years. No one has ever seemed to address this question, which seems odd considering he holds the Triforce of Courage. Well, it's really just called the Old Man or the Triforce Keeper, and it's really never gone into at all. Like, really, the reason no one goes into it is because no one goes into it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, really, it's an untouched bit of the story, because, as I said earlier, it's this older game has just has <laughs> bare-bones story. So, they, it's just not something they've touched on, and no one really has the answer. My personal assessment is the fact that you go back into the backstory of... Adventure of Link, and you basically you get the it tells you that the king had the Triforce of Courage and he put it in the Great Palace or whatever, and Link's going to find it. So really, this is probably just some old dude or some magician or sage or I don't know some kind of the thingy specific term uh, there uh, that is just holding on to the Triforce. He's just put there serving the king or I don't know something like that. That's the best answer I can give you because really <laughs> no one knows. Mock asks, why did the bosses in the Wind Waker not show their titles when you encounter them? Was Nintendo paying homage to the classic 2D Zelda games? Not really. The answer here is pretty simple. The fact is that Ocarina of Time was the first game to do that, to have the boss titles show up on screen, at least as far as I can remember. I don't think it happened in any of the old uh, 2D games. And Majora's Mask did it too, but Majora's Mask took after Ocarina of Time very specifically. It copied the engine, copied a lot of the gameplay, you know, things like that, although of course it had its own innovations. So basically, those are the only two games. Majora's Mask arguably doesn't count because of its basis on Ocarina of Time. So one major, one, like, one game engine, let's say, before the Wind Waker. It wasn't a precedent yet. It wasn't until, arguably, until, like, uh, Twilight Princess started doing it. So, that's the best, that's the simple answer there. Alright, last question. Phoenix asks, In Skyward Sword, do you think it was a good idea that they mixed up the classic elements like forest, fire, and water, and traded out the water element for a more deserty area? I think you mean mix up, you mean by the order, which is, yeah, the, the putting them out of order, the, out of the classic order was cool. I don't think it matters a lot, but it's nice to see a little variety and a little effort put into making it its own thing, you know. 
And, uh, you know, I think that the uh, there were still, like, some water aspects left in the Lanayru region, but, yeah, I think that it's interesting that they experimented a lot with that, and that's what I like about the Lanayru region, that they really made it into a new idea. And I, I'd like to see more of that in the Zelda games. I, I definitely don't mind them still having the old concepts, and because they're, they're basic terrain concepts. There's always different kinds of forests, but there's usually a forest, because, you know, there kind of are forests out there in the world. But in general, I'd like guess I would like to see more like this. I'd like to see more of a uh, a mix of the new kinds of concepts that we don't see in Zelda specifically, and uh, a lot of the classic concepts. It'd be cool to see a little more variation in that way. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Be sure to send your questions to the contact information in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Maybe evil forces have been tearing at Hyrule for so long that it's wait, I forgot. Zora Twilight asks, "What do you what?" <clears throat> It's really annoying trying to get this thing to stay, you know, straight!